Welcome to weight training number 14. Today we're going to focus on calves, back, chest, and abs, and we're starting with standing calf raises. I'm using my weight plate to add a little bit more resistance here. This way I have a little bit of a ledge to work with. If you have a stool or a step or also a weight plate that you can use, it'll help amp it up a little bit. If not, you can just do this on your mat. And we're performing two sets of 15 reps. I'm using free weights to add resistance. You can either use free weights, um, another weight plate, kettlebell, anything that's gonna add resistance to this you can use. So give me a nice strong lift. As you lift, you almost wanna pause at the top for about a second before you lower back down. So 15 strong reps. Once you've completed the 15, you're gonna take a breather for about 20 to 30 seconds and then perform your second set. So again, 15 reps. Now, before you guys get into this workout, I want you to perform about a five minute warm up. Um, you can jump rope, you can go jog outside, you can go for a walk. You can just do squats and lunges and circle your ankles before you get started, but definitely do something to warm your joints up and your muscles before you get into this. So we're almost through the 15. Again, nice strong reps, pause at the top. And remember, lock your knees. It's the only exercise that you're gonna wanna do that. Keep your legs nice and straight so that you could focus on using your calf muscles to lift. And now onto our next exercise for calves. We're doing seated calf raises. Grab a chair. You want your legs bent 90 degrees. I'm using a weight plate again to add resistance. You can place your weight right on your legs. You're gonna press into the toes, squeeze your calves as you lift, pause again at the top, and then slowly lower. Again, two sets of 15 reps. And make sure you're in a nice, strong, seated position. So even as you're seated, you want good form. Flat back, shoulders back, abs in tight, chest up. Keep your spine in line, don't look down. And once you've completed 15 reps, take about 20 seconds rest and then perform your next set. So you really want the resistance here. I'm even pushing into my weight plate to add more resistance. really going to help you work your calves. And after this, we're going to bring the focus to our back. And now, grab your weights. I'm using about 15 pounds here. And we're going to perform bent rows. So legs about hip width apart. Slight bend in the knees, flat back, lean forward, arms out in front. You're gonna squeeze the weight up, keeping your arms along the body, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Again, slight pause at the top, and then slowly lower. Two sets of 15 reps. So you're really working your back. That's where the focus is, but your entire core is working. So that's your back and your abs. So squeeze the abs in as you're doing this. And again, 20 to 30 seconds rest in between sets. Really focus on your back. You're gonna feel muscles in your arm working as well. But I really want you to get that deep squeeze in the back. So it really helps to pause at the top so you can hold that contraction. So moving on to our next exercise for our back, we're gonna perform a deadlift into a wide row. So again, I'm using 15 pounds. We're doing two sets of 15 reps. You're gonna start with your stiff-legged deadlift. So again, hips are about, or legs are about hip width apart. You're just putting a slight bend in the knees. You're keeping them soft. You're leaning forward hinging at the hips, flat back, squeeze your glutes to come up, and then you're gonna lower about halfway down after you perform the deadlift, 
hold that and perform a wide row. So for the wide row, your elbows are coming out to the side, again, about 90 degrees bent. So really work it here. The deadlift absolutely focuses on your glutes, but you're also going to feel your back working as well. So from your lats down to your glutes, you're going to feel all of that contract. So really work it here. Don't get lazy. Don't quit. Give me good reps. Again, two sets of 15. We're almost to our rest. You might need a little bit longer rest here, so maybe about 30 seconds. And then set up for your next set. Give me a nice strong deadlift, and then right to your wide row. So on the deadlift, slow lower, and then you really want to spring up. So you're squeezing glutes to power yourself back up to standing. And then again, lower halfway for the wide row. You've got this. Don't get lazy. Don't let the shoulders slump forward. Keep your body engaged. You're almost through the second set. Remember, it's only two of 15. You're almost there. And after this, we're going to bring the focus to our chest. There you go. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Maintain good form. Hold those contractions. This is where you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Those contractions are going to get tight, deep. We're really trying to work our muscles to failure here, and that's never a fun process in the moment. But you really have to learn how to enjoy that, how to let go, how to just feel pride in how strong you are and the fact that you can even do this. That should be enjoyable enough. So try to focus on that as you're moving through. And now we're moving on to a chest press. I'm using 21 pounds here. And we're performing two sets of 20 reps. So flat back. Knees bent, arms start up, you're going to lower the elbows out to the side, nice and wide, you want to feel your chest engage, and then a nice strong press up, exhale on the press, inhale on the lower. Keep it going. And even here, you want to squeeze your abs in. Don't let your abs get lazy. Once you've completed your reps, take about 20 seconds rest, and then move into your second set. Nice and strong here. If you have a barbell, you could use that as well. So if that's something that's a bit more comfortable for you, you can use the barbell. Otherwise, free weights work fine. Just make sure you're using enough resistance to engage your chest and to work it to failure. Keep it up. You're almost through the set. We have one more exercise for chest before we move on to abs. forget to breathe. Now let's come up. If you need to change your weight, go ahead and change. I went down to 18 pounds here. We're coming back down to our mat in the same position. This time we're just changing our hands and you're going to open the arms out to the side. Again, slight bend in the elbows for an open fly. So with the chest fly, you're really going to feel the pecs engage a lot more. You're going to feel major and minor working here. So keep going. So I say you may need to lighten the resistance a little bit. This way you don't put any pressure on the arms. You want to keep the focus on the chest. You are working your shoulders a little bit here, but you want to try to just focus on engaging your chest to control the weights. Keep it going. Two sets of 15 reps. We're almost to our rest. So come up for about 20 to 30 seconds. And here we go, second set. 15 reps, nice and strong. 
arms open out to the side, slight bend in the elbows, not 90 degrees. And after this, we're gonna move on to our abs. So don't get lazy here. Make the most of this. Work that chest, bring it to failure. You should feel your chest and your abs shaking or your arms shaking by the end of this one. So if you're not, you didn't use enough resistance, you didn't work it hard enough, you didn't maintain the form. Don't get lazy here. The only person you're hurting by doing that is yourself. Remember, we have goals. This is why we're doing this. So we're moving on to our V crunches next. Again, something we're familiar with by now. We're performing two sets of 15 reps per side. So slight bend in the knees, legs lift up as your elbow comes up to the middle to meet. Here you're gonna have your left arm down for support. Right hand lightly placed behind the head, take a breather. And now I'm just gonna show you a modification. So if bringing the legs up is too much, you can just raise your shoulder off the mat. If that's too easy, I want you to go for the full movement. Just get 15 reps and then we'll move on to the other side. There you go, stay strong, squeeze the abs. Exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. And now let's go to the other side. So again, two sets of 15 reps. Keep working it, don't quit. You're almost through the set. Take about 15 to 20 seconds rest after this. Almost there. Now take a little breather. And now again, that modification is just lifting the shoulder up. Think about reaching your elbow over your hip. And again, if that's too easy, go right back for that advanced movement. Almost there. So next, we're gonna need our chair. We're performing a decline alternating plank twist and oblique knee. So feet are up on the chair or the stool or bench. You're gonna twist your knee and then bring that same knee to meet the outside of the arm. So two sets of 20 reps, which equals about 10 sets per side or 10 reps per side. It's a challenging movement. So if it's too much with your feet elevated, you could just do this on the mat in a traditional plank. But again, if that feels too comfortable for you, I want you to push and use the chair. Give me good, strong form. If you burn out on the chair, go ahead and move the legs back down to the mat and then keep going until you complete 20 reps total. And then take about 15 to 20 seconds rest. So just carefully bring the knees down, take your rest. And when you're ready for the second set, bring your feet back up to the chair. And again, 20 reps. So that's one, other side, that's two, keep going. Here's three and four, nice job, don't stop. Remember, exhale each time you drive the knee up, inhale as you bring your foot back to the chair. Breathing with the movement is gonna help. You never want your lungs to feel closed off, you wanna keep oxygen pumping, that's gonna keep your blood flowing, that's gonna keep you moving. So stay nice and strong, I know this one is challenging. Fight through the discomfort. If you feel like your arms are giving out, then that would be a good time to, to take a little bit of a rest, maybe about five to 10 seconds and then get back into it. But if you're not at that point, I know you can keep going. So moving on to our last exercise for the workout today is an elevated leg sit up. Two sets of 20 reps and I'm using resistance here. So 15 pound weight, starting with the weight overhead, knees bent 90 degrees, feet up on the chair. You're gonna squeeze up nice and strong, reach the weight to tap the toes and slowly lower back down to start. So as you're coming up, keep your chin off your chest. It helps to look up towards the ceiling. If you feel any pressure in your neck, you can eliminate the weight and bring your hands behind your head. 
Otherwise, control that weight. Don't swing it up and use it as momentum. That's going to risk hurting your back. You want your abs controlling this. So carefully come up one vertebrae at a time and carefully lower one vertebrae at a time. Abs and shoulders are working here. Keep pushing. You should feel fatigued at this point. You're on your last exercise of the day. This is where it really counts for you to just keep pushing through. That's where you're making the biggest changes. So stay strong. Once you've completed 20 reps, take about 20 to 30 seconds rest and then move on to your last set. Because you're almost to the end. Don't give up now. We have a nice stretch coming up and then you can move on with your day and feel good knowing that you got in a really good weight training workout in about 20 minutes. So take your rest and here we go. Last set, 20 reps. You've got this. If your shoulders are really burnt out, you can always lower the weight a little bit or just eliminate the resistance, but don't quit on the sit-ups. Keep it up, exhale as you come up, inhale as you lower. Squeeze your abs in. Nice and strong. Last few reps in the workout. So I kept this one short today because I want you guys to realize that even if you're limited on time, you can absolutely get weight training in in your schedule. There really aren't excuses. I don't care if you break it up into 10 minute increments, but you can definitely focus on one or two muscle groups, maybe three or four and bring them to failure in a short amount of time and still get your weight training in and not just completely give up on that just because you're you're busy. I understand schedules get crazy, but you want to keep your body healthy. You have certain goals that you're working towards and weight training really is the most effective way to get there. That's what's going to build the muscle. You're not going to get bulky, but you're going to build good, strong muscle tone. You're going to burn more body fat and you're going to be stronger and more capable. So now it's time for the good part. We got our stretch. So legs apart. Nice little arch in the back. Clasp your fingers, push your hands forward, stretch the back out and the shoulders. And again, reach up overhead. You can arch the back. Now, nice little side body stretch, just to release some of the tension from our core. Just gently working into our stretches today. So let's bring the legs wide, perform some hip circles. And stretch down to the mat. Reach the top of the head towards the mat. Nice flat back. And now let's come over to a nice little side lunge stretch. Back up center. Stretch deeper. And now over to the other side. You need you can put your hands on the mat for support otherwise you can keep your arms out or bring your hands to the heart and again back center and now just gently heel toe the legs in you can grab your toes to bring yourself deeper into your forward fold Inhale, reach the arms up, arch the back, and now let's just do a gentle tricep stretch, just pulling on the back of the elbow, and stretch that same arm across the body, stretching out the shoulder, and again, arms up overhead. now just repeating on the other side gently pulling the elbow to stretch out the tricep and stretch the arm across just trying to release the last bits of tension 
even though we didn't directly focus on triceps, shoulders, biceps, anything like that, you've definitely worked them in this workout by performing those motions with the chest press and you just want to release tension from all over the body. Nice job today, guys.